Hi everybody, it's Charla Wilson again and is almost uh, 12.40 in the morning and I'm still working on my gingerbread bread carousel and Sheila, I believe you wanted to see me open up the balloons on camera. Boy, that's really risky, but I'm going to try doing it. Okay, I'm going to start with the red because I think the red has got the most promise. The shell seems a little harder. I mean, this one's harder, but I didn't put enough melted sugar on it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, almost broke it. Okay, here we go. said to make a small incision, not a big one, when you're moving the water. Not sure why that is, but... It's going to take a while to get out. Let's just go ahead and cut these. Oh, and I broke my scissors. My favorite kitchen shears kind of hard to use now with the broken handle. Okay. I'm just going to cut this sucker off. Okay, water's coming out much quicker now. Now I did spray some Pam on the balloon before I put the... I'm making a video! Chris wanted to know who I was talking to. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Okay, now to get the balloon out. Whoops. Yeah, already fractured a little bit there. Well, I don't need that piece anyways. Okay, I'm just going to try and ease it out using this popsicle stick. That seems to be working. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So if you do this at home, don't forget to spray Pam on your balloon. Oh, and make sure your balloon has water in it or else it'll pop when the hot liquid sugar goes on it. And there we have it. A nice little sugar shell. Can you see that? I can't tell if it's in focus or not. Well, anyways, there we go. It worked! Hopefully it'll look good on top of the uh, carousel. Okay. Good night, you guys.